Hello, and thank you for tuning into this week's Mayor's Update. As always, we have a lot of important information to share with you here this week, so please feel free to share this video with your friends, family, relatives, and anyone else you think might find this information helpful over the course of the coming week. I want to start off once again by wishing a uh, heartfelt congratulations to all of our new alumni from Gardner High School and Gardner Academy for Learning and Technology. Uh, the 110 graduates of Gardner High School and the 20 graduates of Gardner Academy had their graduation this past week. Uh, and it was great to see everyone out on Watkins Field supporting them and really, you know, wishing them well as they enter into this next chapter of their lives. Uh, to all of our students who just graduated, know that Gardner will always be your home and you are always welcome here. So please do feel free to come back here no matter where life takes you, uh, be it the military, uh, the workforce, or off to college. Wherever life goes, you can always come back home here and pull up a chair, if you will, for a pun on the chair city we're in. Uh, last past week, the city council passed the FY 2024 budget. That's the fiscal year 2024 budget, uh, what the FY stands for. Uh, this is a very, uh, very modest budget in terms of keeping us within our means while still helping cover the cost that we have here uh, in Gardner. That's about $83.1 million uh, that was approved by the city council for operations of all of our departments. That includes the school department, which takes up the largest portion of that. Uh, then you add in the water department, the sewer department, the uh, golf course, all of us at City Hall, all of us at the DPW, uh, all of that comes together into that bundle. There are certain departments like uh, the water department, sewer, trash collection, the golf course, and the cable department. Those are all special revenue accounts, either through an enterprise fund, which means they're solely funded through the fees collected for that service. So the water department can only be paid for out of water bills. Uh, the cable department can only be paid for off of the fee that's on everyone's cable bills, who has a cable subscription in Gardner. Those things there don't add to the tax base, but they're part of our city operations, so they have to be approved as part of that number as well. And then the other departments are all through our collections and excise taxes, local receipts, property taxes, things of that nature. If you're looking for any information on what's included in this year's budget, you can find that on the city's YouTube page and the committee overviews that were done for the Public Safety Committee, the Public Service Committee, the Public Welfare Committee, and the Finance Committee, as well as the full City Council and formal meeting that happened before that to review the full budget as a whole. I want to thank the members of the City Council for their partnership in this matter and the collaboration in getting things done. This is the quickest Gardner has ever had a budget done in since at least 2000. That's as far back as our records go. Uh, but I'm very excited to see that we were just able to get that done and out of the way and not be rushing at the end of the fiscal year uh, like has traditionally been done in Gardner where we're voting to get this done by June 30th where now we were able to get it done on June 6th. So thank you to everyone who was involved. I'd like to give a particular shout out to our city auditor, John Richard, for all of his partnership in getting this done. Uh, he's been my closest partner in drafting the fiscal year 2024 budget and we were able to get that off without a hitch. So thank you very much, John, for all of your work and what you do for the city as well. The Chamber of Commerce had their uh, monthly business after hours event this past week over at Mac Prototype on Main Street. Uh, again, if you didn't uh, see this update uh, when we went and toured there a couple weeks ago with our economic development department, uh, Mac Prototype is a uh, part of a um, larger company known as Mac Production. Uh, Mac Prototype uh, makes the prototypes and the molds for the larger different scale projects that the Mac family company does. Uh, that's everything from making sure that prosthetics are fitted correctly uh, to pieces for cars. Uh, long and short, it's an injecting mold, ejection molding and a 3D printing facility uh, for the molds that are then used on a lot larger scale uh, through their other companies across New England and the United States. So thank you very much to Greg over at Mac Prototype for opening the doors for the city again for people to see what's happening right here in our backyard and looking forward to seeing how we can continue to partner with Mac Prototype in the future. Gardner Elementary School had its official ribbon cutting this past week as well uh, over at 278 Main Street. If you haven't driven by the new Gardner Elementary School yet, I very highly recommend it. It's going to be one of the new gems here in the city of Gardner. I want to thank everyone who's been involved in the process of getting the school to where it is now as well as you know, participating in the ribbon cutting. Uh, former Mayor Mark Hawk for coming up with the idea to get a new school, Dr. Pellegrino and Dr. Stephen Hemmen. Uh, Dr. Pellegrino, obviously our superintendent of schools and his special assistant on the school project, uh, former superintendent of Narragansett Public Schools, uh, Dr. Stephen Hemmen, 
who's really been a key player in making sure all of the MSBA requirements are done correctly. Uh, Jones Whitsitt Architects, Bacon Construction, uh, our OPMs for the project, everyone who's been involved. This has been a massive project and it's nice to see this $90 million project wrap up in the way it is in a way that really is benefiting our students already. So thank you to everyone who was involved in that. And again, if you haven't gotten a chance to drive by the school, I do highly recommend you take, it out, uh, take the moment and go and check it out. The Relay for Life is back in Gardner on uh, Friday, June 9th and Saturday, June 10th. The uh, Survivor's Reception uh, and the luminary uh, is going to take place at 6 p.m. as well as the opening ceremonies. Uh, the luminary uh, ceremony will take place from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. that evening, and the closing ceremonies for the Relay for Life will take place at 1 p.m. on Saturday. So if you are in the area, please consider stopping by. Uh, the Relay for Life was started in Gardner the year I was born, actually, so it's been quite a staple for at least the past 29 years, uh, or this is, would be the 30th year in operation. Uh, and it's been something that a lot of us have grown up with, a lot of us have known, a lot of us have seen the ways that in this community no one fights alone. And we've got each other's back when, you know, push comes to shove and these hard decisions need to get made or the information comes out that you don't want to hear. Uh, the Really for Life is one of those examples of how we've come together as a community and had each other's back. So I want to say thank you very much to the organizing committee and everyone who's really been involved in that and everyone who participated and came out for that event. It's really something that's special in this community. I'm very proud to be in a city that has that strong of a community support system behind it. This coming Monday, Gardner Community uh, Health Connections over on uh, Timpany Boulevard will be having their official ribbon cutting ceremony if you haven't gotten a chance to see that facility next to walmart i highly recommend checking that out more information as to the time of the uh, ribbon cutting on this coming monday june 12th can be found on the chc's or community health connections facebook page and on the city's website the concerts in the park are returning this summer beginning on saturday june 17th with the green sisters returning to open us off for the season there uh, it's great to see that this con uh, continues uh, year after year over at monument park the sidewalks have been completed so the construction directly around the park is done uh, the new victorian lights still do need to be installed however everything should be all set by the time that concert comes around even if the lights aren't there it should be sunny enough for a while uh, the Green Sisters are there and it's going to be a great time for everyone who's involved. So if you're out and about, please consider uh, stopping by that free concert over in Monument Park. The PACC is having their annual fireworks uh, for Gardner's birthday on Saturday, June 24th, beginning at dusk. Earlier that day, beginning at 10 a.m., the downtown uh, organization Gardner Square 2 will be having their annual downtown festival uh, and the Happy, Gardner Fe Happy Birthday Gardner Festival. So if you're out during the day, support our local businesses and then have some fun out over at the PACC with the fireworks display. It's going to be a great one. I really do think so. Uh, we want to remind people that on Thursday, June 29th, seven-day weekend, and Brandon Furtado will be having their uh, summer kickoff concert. We're calling it the Chair City Summer Kickoff uh, over on the front lawn of Gardner City Hall. Uh, food trucks will begin serving at 5.30. Brandon Furtado, a new uh, social media TikTok artist who's an uh, upcoming singer from the Somerset area, will be uh, kicking off opening the concert from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. and then from 7 p.m. to 9.15, Seven Day Weekend takes the stage. Uh, they are a cover band covering music from the 80s to present and it's sure to be a fun time for everyone who's involved. So bring a chair, bring a picnic blanket, enjoy some fun time right out here at Gardner City Hall and kick off the summer in a great way. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been involved. Thank you to our sponsors who will be released this week. Uh, we'll be releasing the food truck vendors, the uh, beverage vendors, and all of our sponsors in the coming days too. So keep an eye out for that and we'll talk about those in future updates as well. The uh, City Centennial Celebration Committee will be having their summer celebration on June 22nd from noon to 6 p.m. Over at Mount Wachusett Community College, this will include food trucks and several different vendors along the track over at the Mount. Uh, so if you're interested in attending, you can check the city's website or our social media platforms for more information on that. Uh, I'd like to close with just a couple uh, things on some personnel here in uh, City Hall. I'd like to, you know, wish our former City Director of Public Health, Lauren Saunders, well as she leaves us here at Gardner City Hall and goes on to the private sector. Uh, the position has been posted. Uh, we had about 11 applicants apply for the position. The Board of Health appoints this position directly, uh, and they will be meeting on Monday to interview the candidates for that position. So we'll be sure to let people know who our new health director is once the Board of Health takes that vote to appoint that person. Unlike most department head positions that are appointed by the mayor, confirmed by the city council, by law, this one is solely appointed by the Board of Health. Uh, so once that vote is taken, we'll be sure to let everyone know who our new uh, department has, is here in our team at City Hall. And lastly, I want to wish a warm welcome to my new intern for the 
summer, uh, Christopher Supple, a Gardner resident who's a rising senior over at Coastal Carolina University down in South Carolina. Uh, looking forward to having Chris in the office, uh, as well as later on in the summer, Kyle uh, will be joining us as well, but we'll wait to save his introduction for when he starts. So that concludes this week's Mayor's Update. As always, if you have any questions on anything that's happening in the city, you can always feel free to contact my office at any time, and we'll be able to get your answers for you as soon as we can. Thank you very much, and have a great day.